Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Slashing It with Matt. And today we're gonna to talk about two different movie trailers, okay? We're gonna talk about uh, Pearl, which is a uh, prequel to X, which came out uh, earlier this year. And we are going to talk about Halloween Ends, which is a sequel to Halloween Kills, which came out earlier last year. So we're gonna start with Pearl. Um, I watched the trailer a few times and to me, it looks brutal. Um, Pearl, she looks crazy, okay? And I feel this origin story, which that's what Pearl is, is going to really tie together well with X. Because if you've seen X, um, you realize that Pearl is jealous of these young women in the film, okay? She's jealous of their looks. She's jealous that all the men want them and all of this. So that, that film... X to me is is basically based on jealousy. Her not getting what she wants as an old woman. Um, you know, a lot of people see X as just a porn film. Uh, I do not. I see it more as like a an artsy original film done by director Ty West, and he 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 did a great job with that movie. It was it was so much more than being half porn, half horror movie. That was to me it was a great movie, and it it, it sent to me a message really. And um, basically he's also s sending that message and showing us the origin of Pearl and why she did what she did and basically her life. And like I said, um, Pearl, that, that trailer, it seems brutal. She's, she's getting her way, she's committing crimes, all to be someone she wants to be, the best, the most beautiful. Um, there's a scene in there that really, to me, ties back to X, and that's when she is basically praying to God, saying, please just let me be the best, let me be the most beautiful, and that ties back to um, X when she is talking with Maxine, saying, I remember being like you, I was like you, and there was another scene um, with uh, Brittany Snow, uh, at the dock in X when she said, I never liked blondes. So we haven't really seen anything um, in the trailer, her directly with blondes, not that I can remember anyway, but I bet we're gonna see some type of reference to that too in the trailer. So um, I'm excited for Pearl. Um, I think it's gonna be, again, a great origin story. And I think it's gonna tie together really, really well um, with X. So I'm, I'm excited to see it, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to basically uh, end that, talk about that trailer right there, and then now we're going to go to Halloween Ends. Um, Halloween Ends, I'm, I'm really excited for. Um, again, like in my first video, um, we talked a lot about how much I love Halloween, and we kind of talked about um, the most recent films. But um, so with Ends, um, and I'm sure everyone's seen that, the trailer, um, when that trailer begins... Um, we see a lot of Halloween vibes, trick-or-treaters, uh, you know, street lit up with Halloween lights. And my next favorite part is you see a character going up to a house with heavy breathing. Um, at this point, we don't know if that's Michael Myers, um, just from speculation and things we've heard. But whoever's behind that mask is going up the stairs. You hear the creaking, the heavy breathing. And it just, it brings me back to that original film. And I think that's honestly what they're trying to go for is go back to that original film and kind of bring that nostalgia back that we didn't, I guess, necessarily see too much in Halloween Kills. Um, so we're kind of gonna go back to that, uh, the, like the stalker vibes and not the gory 100% just slasher. You know, this movie's gonna be more than that. So um, in the trailer, as you see, supposed Michael, opens the door to find Laurie Strode there holding a gun. But as you notice, when he's opening the door, you see all five fingers. So that that's caused up, you know, a lot of speculation and, you know, people are asking questions. Oh, is there a copycat? Well, I mean, in my opinion, from what I've seen, yes, I think there's going to be a copycat um, because um, basically it's said now and it's been in articles and everything that, um, you know, Laurie Strode is, you know, it's four years later, it's Halloween 2022. She's had time to um, move on um, from the events of 2018 when she lost everyone she loved. 
um, her, her daughter especially. Um, and she also discovered that Michael Myers was not after her. It was nothing, it had nothing to do with her. Um, and he was just, he's out to kill. He's not after a certain person. So I think that um, basically in this film, um, put a lot of relief on her. Um, as you can tell, she is much more put together in this movie. It appears she has a house. Um, she's writing a memoir um, about everything she went through. And then obviously in the trailer, we see that, you know, Michael Myers comes back to haunt her. Um, there's also this character um, in the film by the name of Corey Cunningham. And apparently in this film, he is accused of murdering a child he was babysitting. So at this point, a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, he's committing these crimes. Michael's not around. And basically he's getting blamed for all of the murders. Do we know that 100%? No, but that's what the speculation is, is that he is obsessed with Michael Myers and that, you know, basically he's the one who brings Michael Myers out of hiding. Um, Again, 100%, we don't know what's going to happen, but there's this is basically everything I've seen, everything I've looked up, this is what people are talking about. Um, like I said, pretty much to me, it's pretty much a, a for sure fact that there is going to be a copycat killer uh, in this film, and it sounds like it's going to be this Corey guy um, because he's obsessed with Myers. Um, we do see in the trailer several new characters. We see Corey in this trailer. He's... He's in what appears to be a sewer, um, some type of like underground structure, and you see Myers attack him. Um, so, you know, obviously we know there's Corey, there's Michael Myers, because at the end of the trailer, we do see when he is attacking Lori in the kitchen, we do see his hand again, missing fingers. So that to me basically tells us, yes, we're dealing with two different threats here. Okay, um, and at this point, we don't know if Corey's killing people or we don't know if he's being framed by Michael Myers. I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of speculation there. Um, and I don't think that a lot of people like the fact that there is a copycat. I think people, you know, feel cheated by that. But, you know, I don't. I, I think that, you know, they're going to they're doing what's best to end this chapter. Um, I think it, I think it's going to be great. I think a lot of it goes back to the original, and I, I think they're going to do, you know, really well with it. I mean, um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis did say herself, um, and I believe this was before filming, that uh, this movie's going to piss a lot of people off, which, I mean, I'm sure it will, but, you know, I try to go into these movies with an open mind, and I try to go into these movies, you know, thinking positive. Um, you know, and, and the thing is, is, you know, when you see a movie for the first time, you don't, I guess, see it, I mean, to its, like, full capacity until you watch it again, because you're, you're seeing it for the first time, you're excited. The second time you watch it, you're able to kind of, kind of critique more, you know, kind of see things you missed the first time around. And to me, that's what makes a movie better, in my opinion. So I try not to be too critical. Um, I try to respect everyone's opinions, but... In the grand scheme of things, it looks like this movie is going to have a, have a copycat. That's just speculation at this point. Um, you know, they could be tricking us, who knows? But, I mean, to me, that, that's how it looks. And to me, that is okay. Um, like I said, um, I'm excited to see this final chapter. I'm ready for it. You know, it's going to wrap up the trilogy of uh, David Gordon Green's. And then, from what I heard, the rights of Halloween... Um, no longer will be with Blumhouse and basically it's Blumhouse's last film but you know a lot of people think oh Halloween will be back just with a different director and a different vision so I'm excited um, and I'm ready for it so that's basically gonna wrap up uh, today's episode um, like I said I am a newer YouTube channel so if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing liking my videos um, I'd really I'd really appreciate that to help me grow so uh, I'll see you guys next time for episode three and have a great night.